It's another Sunday, or at least for you it is. For me, it's the same Friday night. I have another sample here. This is a blend of shelter points from Catnap G. What he did was he took shelter point 10 year old, shelter point 12 year old, shelter point Evans Family Reserve wine finish and Evans Family Reserve rum finish. And for good measure, he added some Ripple Rock whiskey, also from Shelter Point. And it is at 46% alcohol by volume because all of those whiskeys that went into here are at 46% alcohol by volume. So that, that was easy. I imagine that this is going to be quite a delicious little concoction. As soon as I get all this parafilm off of here and get the bottle open. This is actually a shelter point bottle. Nah. Or it's a bottle that used to contain shelter point in one of the shelter point um, Christmas advent calendars. Uh, whiskey advent calendars, that is. Oh, come off. I hate to have this stuff hanging on here. And all it is is making it hard. I mean, I can get to the whiskey, but I don't like to have this, this stuff hanging on the collar of the bottle. It's just a thing with me, I guess. There, that's better. Now, we have a shelter point bottle that used to contain a sample of some kind of shelter point, but this is another sample of shelter point that was lovingly mixed and concocted by Catnap G. All the way over in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Well, he managed to cram a lot, as much as possible, into that little 50 milliliter bottle. I think he got almost two ounces into there. That's a quick size dram. Okay, well, we'll give this the old treatment. Let's see what we get. Oh. Oh. I can already see or smell the contribution of the Evans Family Reserve bottles. Oh, this is going to be a beauty. Well, you know, quality in, quality out. You put some of the best whiskeys on the planet. Okay, I'm biased. But you put some of the best whiskeys into a blend, and you'll get one of the best blends. I do have some Ripple Rock. I do have some 12 year old. I do have some Evans Family Reserve. Um, is it a port cask? I'd have to check what it is. But it was the latest Evans Family Reserve to come out. Oh no, I think it was Oloroso. Oloroso Sherry. And it's so good. That it's a contender for Whiskey of the Year for me. There are a couple other contenders. but one of which I already finished a bottle, so it's not really a contender anymore. I do have two contenders for Whiskey of the Year right now. Unless, of course, I try something better, then I'll have, like, three. Oh. I'm getting some... 
wine cask. I'm getting some vanillas and Tootsie Roll chocolate. A little bit of that sweetness from the rum cask of the Evans Family Reserve. And Ripple Rock. Interesting. Interesting to add Ripple Rock to all of those. What we're getting is complexity, and nothing is really standing out. But there's vanilla, there's dark fruits, there's sweetness, there's Tootsie Roll chocolate. This is going to prove to be a superb blend, just going by the nose of it. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be a beauty on the palate. I'm telling you already, I should cleanse that palate because it's got some other things on it. Mm. Yeah. Let's go for the taste. Hmm. This has a brilliant viscous oily mouthfeel. It also has some big flavors coming together. Big flavors coming together, but not one of those big flavors is really standing out. They are all coming together. To make a cohesive whole. Oh. oh, it's hard to pick those flavors apart, but there are a lot of big flavors here. There's the wine flavor, there's some rum flavor. I'm getting Tootsie Roll chocolate all over the place. And along with that Tootsie Roll chocolate, Yeah, it, oh, this is probably better than my shelter point infinity was. But sadly enough, my shelter and my shelter point infinity is all gone. I finished it up because it was so good. But this, this I think is even a little better because it has only the top quality shelter point releases blended into it. It is quite uh, a lovely piece of work. Mm. This, the biggest influences are those two Evans family reserves, the rum cask and the wine cask coming together. And each one contributing equally. And add to that the maturity of the 10 and 12 year old. Ah, oh, this is just beautiful. This is just very well presented. And I'll even say delicious. Well, let's get the last drops in there. I think it's perfect as is. Perfect as it is. It just does not need any improvement. 
But what I will do is I will add just a tiny little bit of water. Two drops. Two drops and see what that does to it. This is not necessarily to bring the ABV down because 46% alcohol by volume is the perfect drinking strength. This is just maybe to coax some more flavor out of it. See if that works. See if I can coax a little bit more flavor out of it. I think the two drops of water have not done the nose any favors. Tootsie Roll chocolate is still there, thankfully. But the wine and rum influences from the Evans family reserves are not as strong as they were before. Oh. Oh. On the palate, it's even better. The water doesn't do the nose any flavors. Doesn't do it any favors. But the palate is opened up more, even, than it was before. Oh. I drink water with my whiskey to stay hydrated. And when the water chases the air down my gullet, the air gets trapped inside. And then it wants to find a way out. And that results in a burp. So there you go. Oh, I'm enjoying this too much. Catnap, I salute you. You did a wonderful job of putting this blend together. And it's still a single malt because it's all shelter point. I will drink to your very good health. Food quick. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>